Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pink Shades, and we're back with part 9 in Mega Man Legends 2. And uh, this time around, we're going to be spelunking into a cold place. Well, it's been a long time in the making. I actually do not mean to say that I've been spending a long time working on this. It's been a long time since I've gotten around to actually recording some uh, off-stream Mega Man Legends. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. So... Last time we were here, we actually uh, kind of cut things off here in this cold place in this church-like uh, building. And we see an elevator here, and we're going to actually be going to enter, going to be entering the ruins uh, by taking this elevator down. And, uh, oh yeah. One more key left, huh? This place looks pretty cold. Yeah, it is a pretty cold place. It's actually the fourth uh, ruins in the game. The fourth ruin in the game. Fourth dungeon. Uh, fourth fourth themed dungeon, say that ten times fast. Uh, and this is a place that we're going to have a grand old adventure in, and I'm going to intend... Whoa, whoa! Uh, we're going <laughs> to... Guys, I can't even make out my own thoughts right now. Okay, uh, what I'm trying to say is we're going to have a well, quite an adventure in this place. Uh, we do have to kind of look down here in order to blow up the floor below us so we can enter this door. More reaver by eyes. Oh, whoa! That looked like a Miroc. I think that's what they're called. They're called Mirocs. Oh boy, this place is going to be a blast. Because we're all over the place. We are slipping and sliding. Ow! I feel good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, hey, don't you do that. What? You just disappeared. Oh, well. Uh, this is fun. There's, there's going to be these guys that... Uh, wow. They're blocking the door, and that's no good. Let's see if we can just keep wailing on them with uh, yeah, our yellow buster shots, which should have some good power. Seems like we took care of him just fine there. We're going to want to wait until like he's uh, not shielding in order to do this and more to deal damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's done. As long as he's out of the way, we can safely go through this door, and we're going to be in a, uh, a very large room with elephants and reaver bots with what looks like a dress. So yeah, that's a lot of fun, but I don't remember exactly where to go. I think on the ground somewhere there is a door. Oh boy, here we are. I don't like being on the floor, so you know what? We're just going to go straight through uh, the first door we see here, and... Uh... Make sure we... Whoa! If those guys touch us, um, we're going to be caught. We're going to be uh, set on blue fire. <laughs> we're going to catch on blue fire, uh, which is just a frost burn effect. Uh, it drains life just like we would if we stepped in lava in the Salkata ruins. But, uh, of course, well, um, this place is cold and we don't, we don't get frozen solid. We don't uh, touch things and then, like, not be able to move. We're... Uh, we can still move around in blue fire, but it's a uh, frost burn. You guys are wondering. Wow, we're racking up a lot of zenny. Uh, what is? It? Oh boy. Yeah, I think down the floor here, there's probably a lot of uh, reaver bots kind of just hanging out. Let's see if we can identify and spot them. So I don't want to move too quickly here. I just want to kind of look around, make sure that they're not there. Actually, they're not. Awesome. I think that they appear uh, when we take out, or I guess when we activate a console or something like that. What's that guy's problem? He's facing this way. Huh. Alright. A couple more times. Oh, what kind of... Yeah, so we're in this for the long run. This is going to be quite of a long one, uh, because... Huh, wow, that kind of rhymed and that's going to throw me off. Uh, but... Yeah, this, uh, this place here. Oh, come on. Let me shoot you. There we go. Let me shoot you. Oh, don't you start shooting me. I think irrational people would say that's not fair, but it's completely fair. I mean... I mean, irrational pe Well, no. Yeah. I guess what I said was pretty uh, irrational. What I'm trying to say is that I can't expect to shoot someone and not shoot me, you know, that, that's kind of, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, to, to throw up your defense wall and say it's not fair, 
Um, it's completely fair. Um, he let his guard down, and I shot him. That That's just how it is. That's how the game is played. But uh, to say that I can't shoot him, but I... Or I, I don't know. To raise his shield when I'm shooting at him is not fair. Well, that, that's kind of a little irrational, because that's his own defense. So we're going to... Whoa. Got a nice little interesting angle there. Uh, this room, this floor right here, this is going to crack beneath my feet. So I'm going to try to... Oh, no, 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 no! No! no. That's going to happen. Yes, yeah, so you can tell right away that I'm really excited to be doing these ruins here. It's going to irritate the heck out of me. But, uh, yeah. A lot more to come, by the way, guys. A lot more to come. In the wind. So, come on, reset. There we go. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to maybe, like, shoot this direction. And then just run. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got through there. That's a little tough and a little difficult to do, but... We are here. We're going to get something in here. A blue barrier key. Oh yeah. Yeah, so all we have to do is just go back out of here, run across this floor again, but you notice something's different. Those guys that we snuck by, uh, they're no longer here. Yeah, that's because uh, the Reaverbot layout kind of changes every time you do something kind of uh, significant in this uh, dungeon here. It's a cold place. Oh boy. Oh, he's gonna... Ow. That actually took care of him pretty soon. Pretty fast and pretty quickly. I don't think there's anything over there yet. Uh, but we will go through one of these hallways and there will be stuff. Oh, boy. I hate being on the floor of this room. This room is sketch. I was making sure there's no clowns to the left of me and jokers to the right. Uh, item data download. Okay, so we have the item data. It's kind of like a compass in all Zelda games where you can kind of identify where the, I guess the, the chests, the treasure chests, blah, 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 the treasure, can't say that. The treasure chests. Speaking of which, I like me some titties. That's the real treasure chest. <laughs> Laugh. I tell bad jokes, guys. Just, uh, just... God. Oh god. Oh no! No! Oh. That is like the worst jump to make. I know I could build a part that uh, I guess gives us cleated shoes so we don't slip and slide. Uh, but I didn't do that. We're here for the entertainment of yourself. And I guess slightly for my entertainment. But I've been putting this off for too long so I kind of wanted to... Uh, uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. For as long as I am reading this dialogue, they will run around and not touch me. Dude, get away. Dude. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, they touched me, those, those, these blue ones, these blue Zacabons. And they, uh, they, they put me on Frostburn. I think I said that already about the, uh, the other room we're in. A little hallway, corridor. But yeah. We wanted that laser manual because I think it, it gives rules the instructions she needs to develop the uh, shining laser, which is going to be a great end game weapon. Uh, but we will need to uh, kind of explore everything and get that uh, class S license so we can do that uh, that optional dungeon. Although I don't know if I'll actually do that on recording. I might that might be a little special episode getting the class S license. Security system access release blue barrier. Hell yes. So, the room that we were in that we got that little chest, we're going to have to go all the way back there um, to progress. Yay! So that's a lot of fun, guys. Um, let's make sure that we get the right, uh, right place. I'm thinking it's actually this way, in this direction. So let's just... Oh! Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Making sure that there's no baddies waiting to jump out around a corner. I'm using my aim button to make sure that I'm not like going to target something that's like hanging out. Making sure that's not a mimic, because I know these dungeons are they're full of surprises, full of wonderful surprises. Oh boy, 
All right, let's just keep going then. Hope having a hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And I just remember, guys. Um, before I continue, I do want to roll the intro, so go ahead and sit back and relax, and I'll meet you afterwards. Why it didn't fade in like that sometimes i mean sometimes the uh, obs the program that i'm recording with glitches out and it doesn't fade in but it's supposed to fade in from black after fading out to black uh in order to make that transition a little less uh, harsh and a little more uh, seamless you know but it didn't do it that time i'm kind of I'm a little upset but oh well I can't stay mad forever uh so i think if we kind of use the walls kind of cheat and see where the bad guys are. This guy's already a little excited to see us and he's shooting his blue uh, frost burn everywhere. But if we just get over here, we should be all right. What the? That's awesome. I didn't know we can use, ah, that's hilarious. Let's see if we can get him. Oh wow, we got him in the loop. Sometimes you can get these guys to get like stuck in like a little uh, loop like that, which makes it really convenient to take care of these guys, but... Oh, he's done too. Wow, that's the first time I've ever actually ricocheted my uh, buster shots off one's shield. That's pretty cool. So let's just keep going then. We're going to be eventually running into another hallway, which I find really annoying, but... Eh, so much you can do, right? So we're going to basement two. Ooh, basement two, thin to win. Let's just take a quick look around. Nothing exciting in this room. Just another one of those elevator rooms. Oh, Miroc! It's a miracle! And another one of these guys. These guys are very happy to see us. They stop, they wiggle, they shoot a little uh, ball of energy from their spike. Sounds a lot like me. Yeah, I'm happy. I shoot little balls of energy. I'm kidding, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I, I, I don't know. But we're in another one of these hallways that has one hell of a floor below us where if we were to fall, we won't see the end of it from these guys. These guys running around the floor, they're gonna, of course, they inflict the frost burn effect, which is so much fun. So let's see if we can... Oh God, this is gonna be terrible. Let's just... Oh no. No. No! Oh, wow. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to fall through and, uh, well, experience the uh, thing I didn't want to experience. No! No! Come on. It's such a pain in the rear. All you know, he could do is just bite the bullet, fall down there on purpose. That's what you guys came here to see anyways. I mean, am I right? Probably not. You guys just came here to uh, support me. Oh, come on. Yes, yes. We got through. Oh, boy. Because that, 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 that floor right there, when you fall down in there, that's no no fun. Uh, maybe fun for some people who just want to see me uh, be miserable. Which might be some of you. I mean, some of you... Whoa! Don't you shoot your ball at me. It's explosive little balls. And even these guys, they're like little brains, you know? Kind of cool. Wow, we got a powerful buster gun. I didn't expect to take that out that quickly. But let's, uh, before we... I guess before we, uh... Go all the way back there and go through that door, let's... Let's kind of peek around the corners here. I believe that's a Mimic. So let's just go ahead and approach it slowly with uh, the monster gun. Aha! I knew that was a mimic. That wasn't that last one, that one hallway I walked around. This hallway looks kind of identical in a manner. I mean, it looks like the same. It's just has different reaver bots and the door leads somewhere else. Well, let's go through here. What do we see? Yeah, yeah, I should be able to shoot through it. I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just had my, my floor here on because it's uh, starting to get cold here in Colorado. So I have to actually warm up my room. Okay. 
Yeah, and I was, I was actually mentioning that because I was afraid that my game would freeze because I noticed that sometimes when a little surge of power, uh, you know, affects other devices, it somehow disconnects whatever device I have plugged in from, or in my, uh, my, my Elgato cam link, which is recording my PlayStation 3 right now. Oh, we are in an interesting room here. I think there's actually a skip that we can perform. Whoa. I don't know if it's on this side. It might be this side. Let's try this side first. If we miss, we can try the other one. But I believe we can reach that just by running and jumping. This is going to be really interesting because if I miss, you guys get to see me pummeled by these guys down low, which are just like those giant... Uh, well, you guys can see for yourself. They're menacing. And they're running around. No fun. So let's try this first. Although... I want to say if there's another door across the room. That actually... <laughs> it's not this one. It's not this one. God. Run! Run! It's this one? Okay. So it wasn't the one I jumped from last. It's going to be this one, I think. Yes, this one's a lot closer. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This platform is actually close enough where if you do not have... The, uh, the cleated shoes, you can actually gain a little bit of momentum and then jump and boom, we're up here. We actually performed a skip, a massive skip that allows us to not spend so much time in this dungeon, but again, guys, this dungeon is going to take a while. Uh, there's just a lot of annoying stuff to it, but that that's, that's a skip right there. It's going to save us quite some time, actually. Awesome. But if you guys didn't know about this about this game, um, amazing little skip. It's quick. You just have to run across the room. I know what room this is. Oh goodness, there's gonna be a bunch of invincible um, of those elephant dudes, and you have to kind of like lure them into holes, which is loads of fun, by the way. I mean, sarcastically speaking. But uh, yeah, giant pink elephant looking things that we have to lure into these holes. God dang it. Did I get one? I got one. But I'm on blue fire. Does that make sense? Oh boy. Oh shit! Why did I do that? Where's the other one? Oh god. I'm scared. Do we have anything to eat? I forgot to fill up my energy canteen. Do we have... Like... like no, we don't have any of that, uh, that, that chicken. No, I used that last time. Well, the time before, I don't remember... Oh, come on, you're cheap. You are cheap. Get in there. Don't you fall in there. Dude. Man. Come on, just slide in the hole, please. Please go in the hole. So I don't know where they went. They kind of disappeared into the darkness, which is kind of creepy. But, uh, for your guys' entertainment. Woohoo! Oh, this guy, this guy's going in. Come on. What? Dude. Come on. <gasps> oh, God. Dude, come on. They better not pummel me. Make sure that the other ones aren't nearby. Come on. Please fall in. Dude, what? Are you kidding me? No! Oh, thank God. You go in there. Okay, this guy's in. And I think this is the way through, but I'm going to go in here really quickly because I think Data... Yes, Data's in here, and Data's going to be our friend because we're probably going to die a lot. Let's save. Let's override our uh, maxed out... 
uh, time here. The 99 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the save complete. Yeah, so let's just go in here. Let's go down here into the room I absolutely dread. I think this is the room I dread. It's the room... Oh my god, I hate this room. I hate it, I hate it. But we only need three of these guys. So the problem is, here, there's a big chicken fucker. Excuse me, that was bad. There's a big old guy in the, old, the uh, room, and he launches missiles at us. So we have to avoid those stupid little things that run around and give us frostburn. And we have to destroy this thing. Oh god. Oh god, Frostburn. Okay. You know what we can do is hopefully grab that guy. Okay. There's two more of them. Though. This room isn't as bad as I thought. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Actually, you know what? All we have to do is run across the room. Just hope that we're not pummeled by the, any of those Frostburn guys, because I really, re really don't want to deal with that. Uh, we have a boss fight coming up. We just need to look for that door. Where's that door? Run! Run! I hate this room so much. As growing up as a kid, I always hated being in this place because it was so big, cold, just scary. Just scary. This is the boss, except he's not active yet. No. no. No, 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 He's not active. And the thing that activates him is actually pulling the key. Yes. So they give it to us. They just let us pull the key, but... Well, as soon as we uh, go back through on the other side, we step on through to the other side. We're, uh... Well... Uh... <laughs> you got the fourth key. Thank you, thank you very much. Dig is not over until we're back to the surface. So I think the only thing we have to do is actually defeat this uh, this guy here. And as soon as we do, I think Roll beams us back. I mean, not not like, like beam us up, so Scotty. But, uh, uh, we just we fight this uh, this guy, this bad boy here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this this squirmy dude, he's going to be trying to uh, jell us to death. Jealousy, not even wins. Oh god. But, we have a good enough power, uh, buster gun here, with our little buster shots. Run! Run! He's, he's, uh, he's not a happy fella, he's actually frowning. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Run! Let's just keep wailing at him. We should be able to... I think when he gets to a certain health, he's going to actually spawn some platforms, which is the more interesting part, because he makes the floor scary to stand on. Like that. And I think if we stand in a very specific spot, we're safe from his shots. But once he, once he lands like that, the floor is... It's lava. Well, actually, it's not lava, but it's it's a it's a scary thing for sure. But I think if we stay here, we can actually attack him and damage him while he's squirting out the stuff, and we're perfectly fine. We're perfectly fine. We just have to stay in the corner. Not 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 a problem here. I bet a lot of speedrunners probably do the same thing. Uh, they probably stand in the corner there. Uh, but people, first timers playing this game absolute madhouse in here because you're gonna panic and you're gonna want to run off those uh those platforms and you're gonna you're gonna get frostburn by touching that floor the floor is not lava it's it's ice it's just oh what are you doing bro 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 Whoa. but yeah he's actually relatively easy at least my buster gun right now oh he's getting he's mad so this mode run Run. Oh my god, he gets fast. Uh, sometimes it's a, it's a good tactic to use your... Your, uh, what is it called? I don't have them, but the, the jet skates. Uh, they're just the, the little, like, like, 
Remember the Heelys when that was cool? Heelys, you can just like roll around. Uh, you roll around and you have like little, uh, little wheels in your heel. Yeah, Heelys. I had a pair, man, I love those things. And it was so much fun to learn how to do. But you know what? Man, I wonder if I can do that again. That'd be so much fun. To get. That'd be like a blast in the past to get some Heelys and throw some wheels in and roll around. That was cool. But yeah, we're at the surface. Actually, wow, that went quicker. Quicker than I thought. That was probably under 30 minutes. Or 30 minutes, if so. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and return that fourth key. I don't know if I should return the key or if I should save right before and then save the next recording. Um, because something big happens after we return the fourth key. Once we have the fourth key, I mean, the, that's it. The fourth and final key. That's it. And then all the, the all hell breaks loose. This is when all the, the nice storytelling takes place. And I definitely do want to uh, actually save the cutscenes. I might stay silent for that. And I'm up. I'm going to be uploading uh, the cutscenes. Uh, those the, the end. Kind of, it's not really the end game. But it's like the 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 game gets serious cutscenes. And I, I kind of want to include that in there because it is a, it's an integral part of the story. And I think it makes for a good watch. Uh, if you're curious about what this game is about. I think I'm going to be leaving the cutscenes in. All right, all right. Let's let's move. Let's move. Let's shake it. Let's shake up the uh, sulfur bottom. Shake your sulfur bottom, girl. That sounds pretty stinky, actually. Don't shake your sulfur bottom, please. All right, but before I do, I'm actually going to save with data. And uh, I'm sorry to tease you guys. I know that was a really, really quick. Honestly, that blows my mind how quickly that went. I mean, honestly, I wasn't expecting to be done already. I was expecting to stay in the place a little bit longer, but you know what? Time flies. I talk. You watch. You leave feedback. You like and subscribe. And I hope you guys absolutely did enjoy because uh, next time we're going to be actually giving the key, uh, the fourth key, the fourth and final key, uh, to uh, Von, uh, Von Blucher and uh, Gramps, which is actually, his name is Beryl. Barrel casket, I think. <laughs> Two different wooden things that store things. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this actually surprisingly rather quick episode. I thought I was going to be spending long, uh, I guess a lot more time in the, the cold place, but I uh, guess not. Anyways, guys, whoops. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.